Okay, so we live in beautiful Lukla. So at the moment we are at the altitude of 2,800 meters and we go into parking. Yeah. And we actually going lower, it's 2610. Yeah. And what's the name of this mountain? We just... It's a Konde. Konde, yeah? yeah? And what's the height? 6100. So at the moment we are, have got the oxygen 70% compared to the sea level. Uh, the weather forecast looks really good. Uh, it shows 80% of snowing later, or of the place where we're going. So, kind of excited. So, let's go. And with me over here, we've got, <laughs> what's your name? Neil Kumar, NK. NK, Neil Kumar, the full name. So, let's carry on. He's gonna be our guide for another 40 days. Yeah, 40 yeah. days. Yes. And yeah, so how many uh, trips like this one you've done so far this season? So recently I did uh, only one. Only one? Scam. Okay. So and in total? In uh, total I got more than 60, 70. 60, 70? Yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so have you done any other like uh, Everest Base Camp only or have you done uh, Annapurna? Yeah, I, I've done Annapurna and uh, I got three passes. Okay, okay. So, did you ever go to Mount Everest, to the top? Uh, I hope maybe it's my dream to... It's your dream? Yeah. One day, okay. So, you said uh, you need to do four years as a porter yeah. before you became the guide, yeah? yeah right. Right. So, did you have to do any course? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, we need to do like first of all, if we want to be a guide. Yeah. First of all, we need to do. We need to know the, all the mountain names and trail. Okay. Everything. Then after, uh, legally, we we need to take a, on like a training for the trekking guide. Okay. And we need to show everywhere like our license. And we need that. Okay. That. Okay, license. And how much this cost? Uh, the cost is uh, not very much, like it's a uh, normal cost, like uh, 3,500. Is it dollars? No, is it Nepali rupees. Nepali rupees. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's not too bad. But it takes uh, three months. Three months, yeah? yeah? Okay, okay. What about if you want to become the guide to go all the way to the Mount Everest, to the top? How long uh, this? Yeah. Is any difference? It takes like... Uh, uh, this depends with our uh, body. Okay. If you don't have uh, any shortage of oxygen, you can go easily. And you need to check out your oxygen level day by day. Okay. And we need to do acclimatization also day by day. Okay. Uh, so okay. it takes like uh, a minimum a week. Yeah. Like minimum a, a minimum week, yeah? One week and then uh, we can acclimatize like yeah. a one month. Okay. Like one and a half month. One, one and a half month. Uh, wow, and how much it costs? Is it cost more to do the, the course? It uh, depends with the uh, like agency. Okay. Company. Okay. So how much is that? Uh, exactly, I don't know. What's the you don't know? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just forgot to mention that the whole trip uh, is gonna take about four hours to get to Park Ding and uh, we're gonna cover about four kilometers of distance, which is about uh, just over two and a half miles. So we had to spend about one hour just in this place. So before you enter the park, uh, you need to pay the fee. Uh, they need to take a photo of you, you need to show your passport and fill out the form. Well, so what is the heaviest um, the quotas carry? Do you know? They carry up to 120 kg. How much? 120 kg. Really? Yeah. What about the yaks? Yaks? Uh, they don't carry much, but uh, 50, 60 kg. 50, 60? Yeah. Oh man, so have you ever done this job? Uh, Kevin? In that matter, I got quite lucky because okay. uh, up to three seasons I worked as a porter. All right. But my bag wasn't heavy, more than 30 kg. The grocery store, yeah. they uh, pay the porters like uh, from one camp to another camp. Yeah. yeah. But 
And they, I think they pay like 30 rupees, 40 rupees per kg. Right, okay. A kg, one yeah, kg. Yeah, kg. Yeah. Oh, so the more the better. Yeah. Right. So okay. the 30, so the 40. The more they earn. So how much, uh, how long would you have to carry that 120 bar? So the fuzzing is a camp and Nancy is a camp. If you get from this class to Nancy. Yeah. And it will be the red. Okay, let's quickly calculate how much the porters earn a day. The distance from Lukla to Namche Bazaar is about 23 kilometers, which is about 14.3 miles. This should take about 8 to 10 hours. And let's assume the worst case scenario. So the shops pay to the porters 30 rupees per kilogram. From what I heard, this is the lightweight. So 30 kilograms times 30 rupees equals 900 rupees, which is about 6.8 dollars. And then what we heard, we heard the stories that there are some porters that uh, carry 120 kilograms. This is crazy. So 120 kilograms times 30 rupees equals 3,600 rupees, which is about $27. So the daily porter's wage is anything between 6 and 27 US dollars. Okay, back to the video. This is a mantra. So it's a money rock, yeah? yeah mantra. Rock. And we, when we're going up, we turn like a clockwise. And uh, this is written in letters like uh, Om Mani Padme Hum, which means mantra. And if we keep remember this Om Mani Padme Hum at least uh, one and hundred and eight times, okay. maybe it's a very good luck for us. Mantra, yeah? Yeah. yeah. 108 times. Yeah, 108 Why times. is it 108 times? Uh, maybe in the especially we remember the 108 kind of uh, like a uh, God's name included in this mantra. That's why. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. All right, so we're into um, like two hours of trekking so far. We've got apparently one and a half hours left to uh, get to the Pang Ding, and it's right over uh, there right over there and we're gonna uh, pass through the Milky River which overflow all the way from the Mount Everest base camp and from the Gokyo Valley as well. Gokyo Lake, yeah? And Imja Lake. In Imja Lake. Imja Lake. So another interesting fact is that Mount Everest height is 8,000 848.86 and that's different 86 or 0.6 was a grow from the earthquake from 2016 There is something called health and safety in the UK but I don't think there is such a thing in <laughs> Nepal <laughs> What's yeah. happened to this dog? It looks like hyena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 What sounds they make? Come on. Oh, that's actually is hard. <laughs> Every single one. Right. Come on, smile for the camera. <laughs> So we are about to cross the final bridge for today. Yeah. And what's the name of it? It's a funding bridge and funding, funding village here. Yeah. Okay, funding bridge on the funding village. And so the funding village is yeah. right over there. Okay, so we arrive at the final destination. So this is going to be our home for tonight. And we just order something to eat. Uh, so I order a pasta, garlic cheese and the ginger tea, ginger honey, lemon tea and the pasta cost 800 uh, Nepalese rupees and the tea cost 250 and once we have some rest on the top of this hill over there is a monastery so we're going to uh, well sightseeing a bit later probably uh, and just to summarize today so so far we managed to do 9.74 kilometers and it took us four hours 20 minutes around that and the time they said it's gonna take about four hours but the distance uh, there were like different sources, but they were saying it's gonna take like four to six kilometers walking 
and you can clearly see in, her, in there that it's 9.74, so it's take much longer than uh, that expected. Okay, so going to monastery now, right over there. We are already halfway through and really steep stairs, really challenging. It's only like 200 meters, but it's not easy at all. But let's carry on. How are you guys doing? I think I, think I need to start to drink. You think so? <laughs> Come on, come on. After we visit monastery, we headed down to the Pagdin village and we had an early night. I'm so excited to show you the next day of our trip. Tomorrow we are going to beautiful Namche Bazaar, famous for shopping and the highest Irish pub in the world, which we are of course going to visit. If you enjoy my content, please support this channel and buy me a coffee. Link below this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.